this was a lesson for me. You know, I might be 48, but I, you know, I still need to grow. It was growing pains. That's why I was so, such a wreck and so messed up because this was growing pains for me. Ever since I like wish I never knew when and wild, <laughs> um, ever since, um, the very first limited editions that I saw that were so great and wonderful, um, the, the, the pixie palettes back in whatever it was 2010, Christmas, 2010, ever since those were so hard to get, I've been traumatized <laughs> because they, they never showed up at any of the Walgreens near me. Um, they were only at the Walgreens near the clinic and they sold out like that. Um, and then I was calling all the different Walgreens and found it near the hospital and like had my son watch dinner for me while my husband drove me out there and I got back, um, just so I can have those. I like regret ever getting back into wet and wild, um, because that traumatized me. And I call and I call and I call and I call and, you know, they, they never showed up at, at CVS or Walgreens. I found them at Kerr's. Kerr's is like a North Carolina only drugstore. Um, they started showing up at CVS I, after I wrote to the company, and, you know, emailed, uh, called the managers, emailed the district manager, the buyer. Um, CVS started, you know, selling it. Um, so the anxiety of and the energy <laughs> wasted on looking for these hard to find limited edition items leaves me anxious. And as I literally, you know, and then what happened with, um, with the Gilded Age that half the, you know, like after, after a while, they weren't even in the displays anymore and all that was was the, the bronzer and not the shadow and people bombarded them and they said they were going to give away a thousand and, and they never announced any winners and saying that they didn't have any more to me when they did that thousand giveaway a month later. So I think it's just been a very traumatic experience. I get addicted and I get anxious and I should have learned my lesson, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before when... This lady offered to buy them for me. Charged me full price when they were on sale for buy one, get one half price. Charged me uh, $7 shipping and then asked for more money for shipping. And after I spent all this money, the pallets showed up at my, at my Walgreens. So I should have learned my lesson then. And I got anxious and I get impatient and I'm... I w up until yesterday, I was 100% sure that they'll probably show up in May here because um, last year when I came here, they were in the stores in May, um, even though all the other stores got them in March. And I guess I, I get too anxious, I get too impatient, and you know, I asked this girl to buy them for me because I thought that she really did appreciate me and she was, you know, going to be nice to me after saying all those things that, oh, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't find half her stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, I learned my lesson, you know, I, I learned my lesson and I need to not be so impatient. Um, and I need to, <laughs> I need to stop being so anxious actually, because like I said, up until yesterday, I was 100% sure the Walgreens here would get them or my CVSs would get them because they usually carry, now that they're carrying wet and wild, you know, they, they'll carry, hopefully carry uh, the display because they said that they do um, carry sometimes a limited edition. So, you know, I was traumatized. It made me become anxious. I, I got into a depression when I couldn't find Gilded Age, which is ridiculous over makeup and, um, and wet and wild doesn't make things easy. You know, they're, they started selling their regular line online, but they're still not selling the limited edition. They're saying they don't want to get stuck with it. I don't know why after two years they haven't seen with their eyes what a panic and a frenzy these women go into trying to find these pallets. 
you know, and they've been informed that it causes greed because they said they don't want to have third party, um, you know, third party selling it yet. People will buy out the displays and then put them on eBay. And those, you know, like I said, one time I saw pallets go up to $120 for a, I think it was a Dreamweavers collection. $120. Um, the spring, this spring forward collection has been going up to $60, ending at $60. Um, and to me, it's great when they, when they put $45, buy it now. For pallets that cost you $10. It's just ridiculous. Um, the greed, and they, they're aware of that. They get bombarded. They get phone calls and emails and messages on Facebook and went wild. I mean, and um, Twitter. I don't know why they, they can't make it easier for us. Um, so it's just my fault. Um, you know, like I said, they, um, you know, I need to stop being so anxious. That's my problem. So, you know, I'll, I'll ask people I trust and just be patient and wait it out. Um, you know, but, it, you know, that was my fault. I need, it was growing pains for me.